part 3 of unit money and money supply we will discuss about origin and evolution of money origin and evolution of money basically tells us the story of how money has evolved from its earliest form to present form it's quite an interesting to know how money has evolved in different forms to basically have it in a form that we use as of today in ancient times trading of commodities exchange of wealth was very difficult as a common medium of exchange did not exist then goods and services were exchanged for each other under the barter system due to unavailability of accurate records it is not possible to know the true origin and invention of modern day money and the transition from barter to monetary system david graeber an american anthropologist proposes that money first emerged as credit and later started getting used as medium of exchange the use of representative money historically predates the invention of coinage the representative money is any medium of exchange that represents something of value but has little or no value of its own it it just means that the paper currency that we use the paper of that particular note has got no value in itself but since it represents as 100 rupees note or a 2000 rupees note that representation is basically which brings value to that piece of paper in the ancient empires of egypt babylon india and china the temples and palaces often had commodity warehouses which issued certificates of deposits as evidence of claim upon the portion of goods stored in warehouses the certificates of deposits or the claim tickets could be converted at the warehouses for the commodity they represented that could be exchanged in the market just like commodities various metals were used in both barter and monetary system as medium of exchange this provides an evidence of transition from barter to monetary system the use of bronze as a medium of exchange explains the start of the use of coins in rome though it is not the oldest example known on the use of metal coins the two theories which influence the understanding of early monetary system are commodity theory of money which considers money as medium of exchange and is preferred by those who believed emergence of money as a natural outgrowth of market activity and credit theory of money which considers money as a unit of account thereby suggesting a key role of state in the origin of money so as for commodity theory of money it is market which led to evolution of money but as per credit theory of money it is state which led to the origin of money though many articles suggest the existence of barter system which led to non monetary exchange of goods and services in historic times the anthropologist david graeber alfred michael carolyn humphrey questions the very existence of barter system in pure and simple terms as has been ever described so as per them exchange of goods 
as what the barter system we have been taught or we have learned or read over a period of time never existed in reality as per carolyn humphrey there is no evidence of a society in which barter is the main mode of exchange david graeber researches research indicates the existence of in fact gift economies during 9000 to 6000 bc when domestication and cultivation of crops began livestock and plant products were used as money during the bronze age many cultures developed the use of commodity money ancient china africa and india used cowrie shells around 1000 bc money in the form of small knives and spades made of bronze were used in china the first manufactured actual coin seemed to have appeared separately in china india and cities around asian sea it is now located between greece and turkey and this happened between 700 to 500 bc the modern day coin seem to have been in, invented in kingdom of lydia in asia around 600 bc which are discs disc shaped made of gold silver bronze or limitations thereof imitation sorry imitations thereof with both sides bearing an image produced by stamping with one side often as a human head gold and silver have been most common forms of money throughout history though use of metal as money had its own advantages it also suffered from the disadvantages arising out due to supply and demand of different metals at a point of time in the country The paper currency was first introduced in Song dynasty in China during 11th century. Europe started using paper money since 13th century. In medieval Italy, due to insecurity and difficulty of transporting huge sums of money over long distances, traders started using promissory notes. In the beginning these notes were personally registered but they soon became a written order to pay the amount to whomever had it in their possession these notes can be seen as predecessors of regular bank notes bills of exchange were used with the expansion of european trade with the end towards the end of middle ages the growing and expanding trade required an instrument of credit which led which led to the emergence of bill of exchange over a period of time a system involved wherein the goldsmith started paying interest on the deposits and making advances to the customers this led to the foundation of british banking and new money used on credit In modern day the banking practices are regulated by the central bank of the respective nation the central bank of the country has a sole authority to issue currency which has a legal tender the most modern inventions or additions to money has been plastic money as we call it which involves credit use of credit cards debit cards etc